Hi, beautiful people. Welcome back. Hope everybody is doing fantastic wherever you are. And I know that's not appropriate to say right now because of everything that is going on in Ukraine. My thoughts, my prayers, you guys, my TV stays on the news to know what's going on in Ukraine. Keep me updated. It is so, so heartbreaking to see everything that's unfolding, the devastation. My heart truly goes out to everybody that is affected. Can you imagine, you know, one day living your life just normally, and then the next day you're just packing up the most important things and just fleeing. It's so unimaginable. I am a person of faith, you know, and prayers really go a long way. So if you guys are people of faith, Please stand with me in prayer for Ukraine, the people of Ukraine. There is so much that they need right now. There are so many organizations that are taking, and I mean legitimate organizations. Just last night I was on Instagram, Chrissy Teigen's Instagram. She had um, an organization that was taking donations and off the back I went and I donated to that organization. And I will leave all the links of the organizations. No pressure to anybody. If you want to, please feel free. And it's just, it's heartbreaking, absolutely heartbreaking. And when you see those women with their kids leaving the husbands behind, I can't even put myself in their shoes right now. It's just so heartbreaking. And the saddest thing about all this, you guys, is that I don't know if anybody else was raised this way, okay? When it comes to sex, religion, and politics, I was always taught never to talk about those three things because nobody ever is on the same page, okay? And that's what I'm gonna get in today with without a crystal ball. There are certain things you just stay away from because not, especially with politics, not everybody is gonna be on the same page. Please do not take what I say as fact. Feel free to do your own research and come to your own conclusion. So, Without a crystal ball, actually posted this on her Instagram. It says, NATO activates response force for first time ever. As NATO is preparing to defend Ukraine against Russia by launching the NATO response force for the first time ever since the treaty was signed. That is so false. That is such misleading information. Why would you do that? When you're reading stuff and she claims to have such a high IQ, do your due diligence first. Don't lead people in the wrong direction. Don't misinform people. And the article that I read, and this is just one sentence that explains everything, how false her reporting is. And this was from a CNN article that was published that same day. And this is what it said. I'll actually list the article down below. You can read it in its entirety, but this is just what, giving the gist of what NATO had done. The activation of the response troop does not mean that any US or NATO troops will go into Ukraine. That explains it all. Because at the end of the day, you guys, I'm not gonna go into a history lesson. You can research this for yourself because as I said, not everybody's gonna be on the same page. And the saddest thing about all this, if you go and read Katie Joy's comments on this, it's like, yes, we agree with you. Yes, there are a few people that are trying, that are trying to correct her. But obviously, we know that Katie Joy is a person that hates to be corrected. Okay. So, do your due diligence first. Educate yourself first before putting something on social media that if you have all these followers and they take everything you say and just absorb it, you are spreading misinformation. Now, at in my humble opinion, if you want to bring awareness to situations like this, just show your support, you know, just put something on there that's showing your support for these people. Don't get into the gist of things. That's why we have CNN, uh, MSNBC, NBC. If you watch Fox, by all means, I'm not judging, you know, but don't go and spread misinformation. And for somebody that claims to be so smart, you're a total idiot, Katie Joy, a total idiot. Once again, a tragedy that's going on, a total tragedy that was uncalled for in my opinion. 
she had to insert herself once again. And this is just a pattern for Katie Joy, just a pattern. And this is what she says. It says, random fact, my great grandparents fled Russia in the late 1800s, early 1900s. For several generations on both sides of my family, my German ancestors farmed in Russia near the Black Sea. In the late 1800s, Russia became less welcoming to the Germans that they allowed to immigrate to farm. Russia became more and more oppressive of the German farmers and many started to flee to the United States. When the U.S. opened their borders for homesteading, my great-grandparents fled the pending war in Russia and came to the U.S. to farm. The German farmers that remained in Russia were starved to death through a forced famine by Russia. Russia has been brutalizing people and nations for centuries. And she hashtags all these people. This is not about you, Katie Joy. Not about you at all. Just show your support for Ukraine. That's all you got to do. Don't get yourself involved. It's not about you. It's about those people that have to just pack up everything at the spur of the moment and flee their home. Can you imagine that, Katie Joy? Can you imagine one day just living your life normally and then a few hours later you just got to pack up and flee what you know best? But obviously, in my opinion, Katie Joy is nothing. She's not a journalist. She's not a reporter. She's not a, the least of all, she's not an advocate. Katie Joy, in my opinion, is a con artist because it's nothing more than getting the subscribers, the followers, the clicks, the views. And what does all that equal to? Money. That's all it's about, money. Because in my humble opinion, this woman has absolutely no feeling of empathy, compassion, sympathy, nothing. If it was truly about the people of Ukraine, all this would have meant shit about where your family came from. That's just me. And then this is why I say Katie Joy is the biggest con artist going, okay? A few weeks ago, she sat on an Instagram live and she was all so sad and trying to be, and I'm emphasizing trying to be emotional because she could not get her insurance company to pay for a certain medication for her son. Why is it anybody else's problem? That, in my opinion, is something for you to be on the phone with your mother, your father, close friends, best friend, not there for you to come on Instagram live and make or try to guilt people to feel sorry for you. Katie Joy, you're not the first and you're definitely not the last person to be in this situation. I will leave it as that for now. There is a continuation and let's just say to be continued because this woman basically sells herself sells herself and just lets things out thank you guys so much thank you for watching please don't forget to like subscribe and the notification bell on your way out i truly appreciate you guys please have a wonderful rest of your week as i said the links for if you want to support ukraine will all be down in my description box please don't forget be kind to one another make good memories and please be safe out there bye guys